So about a year ago, summer of 2023, I read a story that on one day, three prize-winning editorial cartoonists, political cartoonists, all lost their job on the same day. I've always admired the work of editorial cartoonists. I grew up appreciating Tony Auth in Philadelphia, love Sidney Wilkinson in Philadelphia. I said to TC, hey, I'm interested in this story. Book one of these individuals. And she was able to book Jack Oman, who lost his gig at the Sacramento Bee. He was our choice because not only had he been fired, and he's a Pulitzer Prize winner, but also because Jack Oman was the head of this organization of editorial cartoonists nationally. Brought Jack on the show, talked about his work, talked about what's happening to editorial cartoonists. He was a great guest, storyteller. And then later that day, I had this epiphany. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm looking for good exclusive content for Smirconish.com daily newsletter. Maybe I should have Jack draw an editorial cartoon a week for us. Long story short, we began that relationship and then it grew to where I was able to recruit Steve Breen, who formerly had drawn for the San Diego Union, and Rob Rogers for the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. So every Tuesday, it's Jack Oman in my newsletter. Every Wednesday, it's Rob Rogers. Every Thursday, it's Steve Breed. They're great. Now it occurs to me that their editorial cartoons are telling the story of the 2024 presidential election. Wouldn't it be great if at the end of the election, we published all of their cartoons as a coffee table book and in a limited supply, you know, maybe a thousand copies only of the book, people could purchase and have all the editorial cartoons from my newsletter, from those three that pertain to the presidential election. We're doing it. So my buddy Buzz Teacher, he's my close personal friend and also my, my sort of guru for all things publishing, he, he provided me, and so too a woman who's a good family friend named Stacy Smart, with an introduction to Bob Terzak at Brilliant, uh, which is a publishing house, Brilliant Graphics in Exton, PA. They're going to do the work. And Bob, at my request, Buzz's suggestion, are you following all this? Just sent me a dummy version of what the coffee table book will look like. So this is just so that we can see the heft of what this project might look like when finished. I'm about to open what he sent to me for the very first time. So, let's do this. TC, you wanna, you wanna get in on this? You love unboxings. I'm watching. All right, hang on, hang on. Come, sit over here, sit, 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 sit. Make a cameo, <laughs> make a cameo. All Hi. right, oh, I see you're clad in black today. Well, how unusual. Yes. Good thing, otherwise no one would Are you ready for this? It. All right, so here excited. we, by the way, I don't know, maybe there are two copies in here, because it's so, it's like, so heavy. This. I know. <laughs> right? That's our workout for the day. All right, let's do it. I think there are. Look at that. Wow. I had to pay to get these mocked up. Okay. Go ahead, you can do it. You do yours, I'll do mine. I'm waiting for you. Oh, you're so it's kind. It's too exciting. Okay, so this is the way it's gonna go, like that. Right, like oh. that. What do you think? Oh, I love it. Right? I love it, yeah. Yeah, this is this is what I hoped for. This wow. is what I envisioned. Wow. Good stock, Beautiful. you see the stock? Oh yeah. And, and it'll be, so there'll be some preliminary write-up, maybe an essay from me explaining the drill, and then and then I'm going to do one cartoon per page. I one love cartoon. this. It Even reminds smells me of, nice. a, of a flip book. Do yeah. you know what I mean? And, yeah. and through this, you see in pictures the entire campaign. In chronological yeah. order. So, so the hope is that the election ends on November 5th and that we know the winner. Right. Because then we, we can immediately get brilliant to begin publishing the books. And by Christmas... People will have them. This is so satisfying. Can, can I? That's what good. this is. That's the word yes. I was hoping you would say. One other thing I want to say about this. There's no margin in it for me. I'm not making a dime on this. Whatever the cost of the books and the shipping is, that will be the cost. I'm hoping to bring it in for around 50 or 60 bucks. Well, this is worth it. Yeah, it's it, yeah. right. It's a serious that's, book. Yeah. But I just I just want to make that clear. I had, I had thought initially that there'd be a charitable component. I've done that with many of my books. But they're just... Then all of a sudden the price becomes too much. Right. So, and I think I think I have to talk to Buzz about this, but I think we're only doing a thousand books. They're fantastic. 
They're collector's right? editions. Yeah. And they are, they're to be put out and left out. Well, this, just wonderful. This, this is what you're getting for Christmas. Good. So I'm glad. Merry I'm, Christmas I'm to glad, me. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, I like it too, like right? It. Thumbs yep. up to this. Thumbs yeah. up. Yeah, at Bob, nice work. This is what I want. This is what I want. So coming soon, as they say.